At this point, we are back where we began this example. The freeform feature is active. The face has been selected, and now we can take a look at how to add control curves. To begin the curve creation process, I'll click the Add Curve button. Before I create curves, notice I can select either Through Point or Control Polygon. This setting affects how I will be able to manipulate the face once control curves and through points are added. The result of using the Through Point setting will be a point directly on the face that you can push and pull. We saw this behavior in the previous lesson when dragging through points on the movable edge. The second option results in a control polygon that is similar to that used when creating splines. Since we've already seen the through point option, I'll use the control polygon option here. Next, I'll move the pointer across the face. You'll see a green colored curve move across the face as I move the pointer. If I click the flip direction button in the property manager, the curve will now appear in the other direction. You can also switch directions by pressing the tab key on the keyboard. The directions available correspond to the directions of the mesh, which in turn is defined based on the four boundaries of the face. To establish control curves, all you have to do is click. As you do this, a curve will remain on the face allowing you to create more curves. Add as many curves as you wish. These are all the curves I'll need, so I can exit out of the curve creation mode by clicking the Add Curve button right-clicking and selecting Add Curve from the pop-up menu or clicking the Escape key on the keyboard. Once you've exited out of the curve creation mode, you can remove curves in the event that you've created too many or you're unhappy with the position of one of the curves. To remove a curve, right-click on it and select Delete. Remember, the Delete option is only available when you're out of the curve or point creation modes. If you're unsure, just press Escape on your keyboard a couple of times until you see the regular selection arrow as your pointer. Don't worry, clicking Escape will not close the Freeform Property Manager, so you will not lose your work. With Control Curves defined, I can now add control points to each of the curves. As I drag my pointer over each of the curves, a preview point will appear. To create a control point, I'll click on the curve. I can continue clicking to add as many points as I need. Once all of my control points are established, I'll press the Add Point button to exit the point creation mode, and I can I'm dragging are part of the control polygon. They're not directly on the face. If you decide you instead want to use through points, change the setting in this property manager and the control polygon will be replaced by points that lie directly on the surface. The only settings we haven't talked about at this point are the display settings at the bottom of the property manager. Here I can make the face transparent and affect the density of the mesh. Having a more refined mesh can help you visualize the changes that are taking place as you deform the surface. You can also activate zebra stripes and curvature combs for the purpose of visualizing the complex surfaces that can result when using freeform.